All right, so the first thing we're gonna get is some awesome new planting soil. It is the most mineral rich stuff, magnesium, potassium, phosphorus, everything you need, even a little bit of zinc, everything you need for your thyroid, everything you need to, seriously, let's go find what's new at Costco. All right, so there's all kinds of new healthy foods popping up at Costco, and we're gonna see what the heck they've got. Whether it's gluten-free, paleo, keto, vegan, whatever, we're looking at all of it, and we're gonna roll through those ingredients and see what is brand spanking new for spring 2021 that might be, well, something that you wanna stock up on in your pantry, so let's rock. What's this multi-grain tortilla chip here? Let's see, it's a relatively new find at Costco. Um, I don't like that they're using sunflower and canola oil. Brown flax, or brown flour, rice flour, excuse me, flax seed, sesame seeds, none of that really matters when it's just adulterated by a bunch of sunflower seed oil. So that's gonna skip that one for now. What is this Unreal brand? I've seen, okay, so there's supposed to be a little bit lower sugar. Uh, Gluten-free, yes, okay, so 36% less than the leading nut butter cup. Ingredients, we have dark chocolate, my finger's a little bit yellow because I was playing with some turmeric earlier. Cane sugar is still the second ingredient. And then blue agave inulin, which is a good inulin. Um, peanut flour, organic cane sugar. Yeah, it's still a lot of sugar, but I mean, I will say, you compare that to a Reese's, I don't know if they have any Reese's here. That's a pretty, that's much better. I'd rather have eight grams of carbohydrates, five grams of sugar in something like this compared to a Reese's. So again, I commend them for getting healthier, better for you options in here. So that is a new item. I would say it kind of makes the cut. It's not something I would run out to grab, but maybe if you're trying to wean off a of sugar, yeah, that's kind of a cool find. Kind of expensive though, $9.89 for that. I don't know. All right, I talked about this one because it is relatively new, but this Larissa's Kitchen, uh, it's a little bit deceiving. It still has a bunch of sugar in it. See, cane sugar is the second ingredient. So not exactly something I want to have. Although it's relatively new, I don't think it's something that you should be investing in. Okay organic gummy bears Let's see what's up with this organic tapioca syrup organic cane sugar second ingredient so another new item but don't think it's going to make our cut here and again i'm not trying to be anything keto specific at all i'm just what is new at costco what is worth checking out okay what's this this is definitely new trail mix snack pack from nature garden we have a heart healthy mix an omega-3 deluxe mix and a cranberry health mix i didn't know that they could put health I thought that was a claim they couldn't make. But anyway, at least it's organic. Organic cranberries, which first ingredient is sugar, sunflower oil outside of the cranberries. Dry roasted pepitas, walnuts, dry roasted almonds. That's, you know, not a bad nut blend. I just, the sugar doesn't really make sense. Uh, Omega-3 Deluxe, also still the cranberries. Uh, pepitas, dry roasted almonds, walnuts, pecans. You know, if you just picked out the cranberries, wouldn't be bad. Same thing here, cranberries, uh, raw pepitas, sunflower seeds, black raisins. I mean, I don't know what the point in buying it is if you're gonna pick a bunch of stuff out of it, but it's not, it's nice to see something a little bit better. So again, better profile, not just peanuts. It's nice to see like some Brazil nuts with your selenium in there. It's nice to see some pecans with a little bit better omega-3 profile. Don't need that in my house. Okay, these chocolate keto cups I've talked about before. Chalk chocolate, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, uh, organic low-fat cocoa powder, organic cane sugar, which does, confuses me in a keto product, but at least it is organic. Organic coconut, organic almonds, and sea salt. So you have in two snaps, you have three total carbs, because you have six grams of carbs, three fiber. So three grams of net carbs in two snaps. So it's not a bad deal. So if you're doing keto and you just need a little break now and then, I can understand having that. So here's something else that's new, made with pure coconut cream. I'm sure they taste delicious. Organic coconut cream, tapioca flour, coconut nectar. Wow, no way. That is good to know. Okay, it's, key, it's uh, paleo friendly, which is awesome because there's no actual sugar in it. Gluten free. Where were these when I did my paleo haul, man? Okay, we've got, yeah, organic coconut cream as the main ingredient. So no wonder the fat content is high. Tapioca flour just as the actual flour. Coconut nectar as the sweetener. Eggs, some natural flavors which could be questionable indeed, but if we 86 everything that had natural flavors in it, we would never be able to get anything. <laughs> Organic sesame seeds, so we get that really good sesame one and sesame, which is tremendous antioxidant profiles, and sea salt. This is a great find. 
The sugar is coming from coconut nectar, which is slightly lower glycemic. It is not keto friendly, but it is paleo. And if you wanted to have some sweet treat laying around that didn't have artificial sweeteners or sugar alcohols, I would get this. Once again, I don't need it in my house. I don't want to be eating this because it's still too indulgent, but good find and really good price. People have been wanting me to address that they changed the formula of the Costco protein bars. They did indeed. They are not as good now. They've made a couple things where now we have more in the way of the milk protein isolate, which isn't ideal. They have some more of the natural flavors in there. They were, they, they were perfect before. They're a little bit subpar now. I still think overall, one of the better bars that's out there. This is different. They've got, uh, okay, I think I mentioned the Tozy bars before. I've seen these at Pete's Coffee. Um, not a bad blend here. Organic almonds, organic flax seeds, white sesame seeds, organic chia seeds, organic evaporated cane sugar. So yes, we still have the sugar in there. Cassava syrup, which they're using also as a sweetener and to bind it. Sea salt, uh, overall relatively low carb. So aside from the evaporated cane sugar in there, it's pretty darn good. Now, sugar content's four grams for one of these bars. Eight grams total, three of which is fiber. I mean, you're really looking at five grams of net carbs in one bar. Technically, I mean, that would kick you out of keto if you had a bunch of them, but this is actually somewhat keto friendly. I love that it's gluten free. Um, I personally have an issue with, well, this one doesn't have the, uh, oh, it does have the cashew one in there. Let's take a look. See the cashew ones on this side, little bit higher carb. This one's seven grams net carbs. Um, I can't do cashews. They mess me up. The phytic acid just really beats me up. So I would, again, Phytic acid, uh, phytic acid is really rich in the cashews, so you gotta be careful with that. So that means it's gonna hard to break down and it's gonna chelate some of the minerals, whereas almonds, a little bit easier to break down. And nice that we have the flax seeds in there, golden flax seeds, white sesame seeds, chia seeds, so a nice omega-3 profile, although you're not able to get a whole lot out of it because it's that alpha linolenic acid. Anyway, something good to note. And then we compare this one, which is brand new too, the Omega Bar. Same, similar concept. This one's hemp seed focused, agave nectar. I don't like using agave because it's pure fructose, very concentrated fructose, almost like high fructose corn syrup in a way. So although it's technically quote unquote lower glycemic, it's a lower glycemic pure fructose that's very concentrated and can really contribute to a lot of, uh, well, what's called de novo lipogenesis, where your liver creates new fat tissues in the hepatocytes that get deposited into the bloodstream as plasma triglycerides. Um, fiber inulin, agave fiber inulin. A lot of the stuff I do like, is it gluten-free? I don't think, because it says it has whole rolled oats, which could go either way. Yeah, that's not even gluten-free. Okay, so that one doesn't, I wouldn't recommend that. So a lot of the stuff I've covered in other videos, so I don't want to just be redundant here. One thing I do want to say though, is a lot of the snack foods that I've been talking about, I would recommend getting snacks through Thrive Market. It just makes it way, way, way easier than getting them at the grocery store. The reason that I recommend that is, well, still go to the grocery store, but at least when you go through Thrive Market, you can utilize sorting by category, by diet category. So if you're doing keto or if you're doing paleo or anything like that, you can go to Thrive Market, you can get your groceries delivered, but you can also like sort by what you're doing. So if you're used to doing keto and then all of a sudden you switch over to paleo, it makes it that easy. And I've been using them for years. They've been a sponsor on this channel for years because it's just relevant and it's practical for people that watch my channel. Okay, I'm always giving tips on what to get at the grocery store, but at least if you go through Thrive Market, you can get things that I pick. I have my specific grocery lists. I have my specific bundles, like my keto bundles, etc. So I just highly recommend it. You're not gonna get everything that you would get at the grocery store, but you're gonna at least be able to get the snack items and the non-perishables and some frozen stuff. So I highly recommend it. So there's a link down below that you can use, a special access link that gets you a free gift as well. So use that link down below in the description after this video to try Thrive Market and get everything delivered to your doorstep versus, I don't know, having to deal with lots of people at the grocery store. You know, I don't know if this is new or not, but capers are one of the richest sources of quercetin. So if you're trying to get fat adapted, like if you're doing keto and you're trying to get your body used to using fats, well, capers might be one of the best foods for you. Quercetin is very effective at helping that fat adaptation process. And people think that they're crazy high in salt. They're not as bad as you think. Okay, so one ounce of these things, okay, so one fifteenth of this container is only 180 milligrams of sodium. They just have this tanginess to them that make them seem extra salty. But remember, salt is not the enemy, okay? 
It's really not. As long as you're getting enough potassium to balance it, and you're getting enough magnesium to balance it, and you're getting a good variety of minerals, you're fine. I actually love capers, so I'm gonna grab some of these. I know it's the only thing I've grabbed so far. Uh, I think that is a new item, and that is a good price, too. What's this? Fully cooked super bean mix. <laughs> Soybeans, chickpeas. Okay, if this didn't have the soybeans in it, I would say go to town on this. But see, we have water, chickpeas, soybeans, kidney beans, black beans, rice salt, rice vinegar. No, uh, if it didn't have the soy again. The other thing you have to be careful of is a lot of lectins. So beans do have lectins. So you usually want to heat them up because it breaks down the lectins and allows your body to assimilate them. If you have too much in the way of raw lectins, what it can do is it's what's called a, uh, an anti anti-nutrient okay or a phytotoxin that simply means that it is a plant poison but there's something to know about lectins it's a hormetic stress hormetic stressor right you want lectins to some degree because it builds resiliency within your gut a little bit of quote unquote poison <laughs> that's coming from a lectin or an anti-nutrient in a plant is not going to hurt you if anything it's going to make your gut more resilient but if you're going to have them frequently heat them so if you were to get those beans pick out the soybeans and heat them at least here's something new yeah this is awesome Let's see we got pickled asparagus which i love usually this has got garlic in it Ooh, this is cool okay asparagus water vinegar salt sugar spices very little sugar and it's going to be in the brine so this is 11 bucks with i mean if you're on the go and you're just trying to like be able to find a way to, you're still going to have all the prebiotic fibers in here you're going to have everything that you need to get the job done right uh, really good source of the right kind of inulin okay inulin is a long chain fiber which takes a long time to break down and those long chain inulins slowly break down and feed your gut bacteria over time very good for building the gut microbiome as a matter of fact i think let's see what's the sodium content probably not actually i will get some of these those look good so that's a really cool new find. Okay, we got squash doll. Yellow split peas with squash and spices in coconut milk. Water, coconut milk. Yellow split peas, pumpkin squash, sunflower oil. <laughs> Come on, guys. Like, really? Like, you're off to such a good start. And then, like, we're, I have a feeling we're going to see ourselves all developing, like, intolerances to sunflower oil. It's, it's a very inflammatory oil. It's not a good vegetable oil. But this is lower fat than the other stuff. It's still not bad. But now, moving right along, I see something else. Cauliflower rice in microwavable pouches. A six pack for 10 bucks. So it's not the best price in the world, but you know what? Convenience, you pray up cost for convenience. Cauliflower and lactic acid. That's pretty dang clean. I like that. Easy, clean, simple. Not the cheapest, but I mean, you're looking at like a dollar 50-ish a pop. I'm gonna grab one of those because I could totally use this Mix a little olive oil with it, make it simple like that. It's perfect. Okay, this one looks to be new. Orgain Superfoods Immunity. What do we have in here? Amaranth, buckwheat, quinoa, chia, kale, apple pulp. Okay, so it's a lot of like grain kind of things. Try to get some fiber in there. I get that. Lentil sprout, spinach. I'm trying to see what kind of Cordyceps, calcium is okay, xanthan gum, monk fruit. You know, to, to apple cider vinegar powder, I actually kind of like this. Um, all the carbs, just so you know, they're all coming from various like starches and things like that. Brussels sprout, green bell pepper, cucumber. The question is, are you actually getting the micronutrients out of this? Not really, because I mean, the benefit of a lot of vegetables and stuff really comes down to, yes, the micronutrients, but really more so the fiber content. And we only have one gram of fiber in here, but this is pretty darn clean. I mean, yeah, I don't like the xanthan gum and the calcium acerbate, but zinc gluconate and then they have some probiotics added in there and all organic ingredients which is nice that is pretty cool i mean i, I will say and for right now 18.99 i don't need this i'm pretty happy with my diet but you know as a newer item here at costco i think that's pretty cool that's a good find focus factor i've had a lot of people ask me about this and what i think about it let's see we have is there anything special in here it's really just a molybdenum. It's really just a mineral blend. Synergistic and proprietary formulation. Okay, it's got DMAE. Yeah, you're going to get a little perk up from this. 
the glutamine that's really more the, the, the science with glutamine is more so in the gut more than anything um, okay they do have phosphatidylserine which can help you relax and sleep a little bit they have dogosahexaenoic acid concentrate 15% DHA inositol inacetyl tyrosine huh the funny thing about inacetyl tyrosine is i put it on like my worst supplements video because it literally like 94 percent of it ends up getting urinated out it's a like, worthless um it's got gaba gamma amino butyric acid so 640 milligrams of that i mean i would recommend you're going to probably get a bigger mental benefit by just having 640 milligrams of straight dha from fish oil so I'm not really buying into that just yet. Well, people have asked about the Zip Fizz, what I think of that. Same kind of concept. I think it's pretty much just caffeine. Yeah, caffeine anhydrous, green tea leaf extract, alpha lipoic acid. Still, I mean, that's okay. Like I'm not opposed to that stuff. But then we have a bunch of glucose polymers, potassium carbonate, tartaric acid. That's a lot of preservatives, not to mention, not that I hate sucralose, but we got sucralose in there. But one thing to look at, you can always tell a product by the kind of vitamin B12 it has. This is called cyanocobalamin, okay? You want to look for methylcobalamin. Cyanocobalamin means that it is the inexpensive B12 that's made from cyanide. Cyanocobalamin, cyanide. Sounds terrible. Well, it is, but you're not having enough to actually trigger yourself to, like, astronauts used to use cyanide if they were, like, going to be in a terrible situation and they needed to, like, off themselves really quick. Well... I mean, cyanide, yeah, to a degree, cyanocobalamin is made from cyanide. That doesn't mean that you're going to like self-destruct. It just means it's a very cheap, inexpensive version that technically has a little bit of liver toxicity. So I always gauge that. Like if I look at a, like a energy drink or something like that and it has cyanocobalamin in it, I'm kind of like, eh, let's avoid it. Looks like they have vital proteins with a chocolate one now. Uh, the vital proteins regular collagen one has been there for a while, which is pretty much just straight collagen. And this one is collagen along with cocoa powder, some natural flavors, which could be questionable, but I do know that there are clean brands that are probably okay. Sea salt and stevia leaf. Red M just means the kind of stevia leaf that it is. That's kind of cool. Uh, four grams of carbs, two of which is fiber from the cocoa. So that would be a cool new find. I'm happy to see that here. I still think this one, if you're just looking for straight up collagen, this one's a little demented, but this one you can't even find ingredients on it because the only ingredients in it are, well, what do you know? Collagen. <laughs> so. 20 grams of collagen in a two in a 20 gram serving that tells you it's just pure collagen that's how you cross reference let me open one that's or show you one that's clear to see it's not all demented here we go so if you look at the serving size and it says 20 grams and you look collagen peptides 20 grams that means it's pure collagen and the way that i can show you just an example here is if you look at in this case a 27 gram serving see 27 grams there okay and the main ingredient is collagen peptides, 20 grams. So that means we have 27 minus 20, seven grams of weird stuff that we don't necessarily know what it is, right? So in this case, we know what it is because we can read through that. So we probably have seven grams worth of cocoa powder, natural flavors, sea salt, and stevia leaf. It's just a quick indicator of how you can like see how much protein is in something. It's a really good way to look at like protein scoops and see like, here's another example, like here we have uh, let's see, 20 grams of protein, but our scooper is 18 grams, or 38 grams. So that means we have 18 extra grams of just other stuff. So what is that 18 grams? And that's when you cross-reference and you look at the label and you start seeing more stuff. Anyhow, let's go buy our capers, our asparagus, and our rice, and let's get out of here. I don't think I'm gonna do the refrigerated section this time, just to keep the video short. Well, it wasn't the most bountiful of hauls, but you know, when it comes down to it, if you're gonna go into Costco looking for brand new things that you're gonna just be gleaming about, you gotta be prepared to not walk out with much because sometimes money talks and if people continue to buy stuff that, well, isn't exactly good for them. Let's grab this guy. Then, they're just gonna follow that, right? So Costco's gonna say, hey, people wanna buy this? Let's keep ordering it. It's up to us to order what we want and to vote with our dollars so that Costco starts making the right decisions, as they have been usually. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel, and I will see you tomorrow. I'm gonna eat some capers.